Hi guys, and welcome back to our channel. My name is Sarah from Dishing Out Wealth, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the top five common financial mistakes that we see people making. If you like this type of content, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. One of the most common financial mistakes that we see people making is not knowing how to budget your income. This is not knowing how much you spend a month, where your money is going, or simply how you're supposed to use it. So if you're not tracking your budget meticulously, it's really shocking to see how much more you spend when you don't even really think about it. Your paycheck is definitely your biggest wealth creator. So you want to make sure you control it in order to have it work for you, not against you. And Dishing Out Wealth does offer offer services to help you learn how to budget and manage all of your finances. The second common financial mistake we see people making is not saving for retirement early. While it's never too late to go ahead and start saving for your retirement, the sooner the better is always a good way to go. So if your company has a retirement fund or a retirement plan, go ahead and contribute exactly what the company is matching you for in order to get the biggest benefits possible. If you're self-employed, however, you definitely have to look at it in a different way. You can check out mutual funds, IRAs, real estate, that kind of thing. We would definitely do a separate video about this, so go ahead and stay tuned for that. But just keep in mind that if you are self-employed, you need to be a bit more creative with how you will set up your retirement for later. The third financial mistake we see people making is not having X amount of months set aside for emergencies. So whether this is two months, four months, six months, a year, it really is dependent for you. But you have to think about it this way. If you lost your job, would you be able to live six months comfortably in the lifestyle that you have right now? What if the transmission in your car blew up? Would you be able to buy a new one without actually destroying your financial status or going into debt for that? This is what this fund is for. So having that number, whatever it is for you, set aside so that for emergencies you can use it is like one of the best things that we can recommend. One of the things we always tell our clients is that a problem that can be solved with money isn't a problem. So make sure that you set aside as much money as you feel comfortable each month and put it into this separate account. This account you don't touch unless it is some sort of an emergency that you have to use it for. So keep that in mind as you're saving, as you're trying to grow this emergency fund, because it really will be helpful for you whenever you do need it. And this account will grow over time. So be patient, be diligent, and just know that the money you are putting aside will be beneficial for you at some point in the future. The fourth financial mistake we see people making is to buy luxury or designer items just to keep up with the current trends. And I totally get it seeing designer handbags or fashion items or a brand new car that everyone else is having, but you don't, it makes you really want it. And it can help you buy into the hype and be, I really want this product because someone else has it and I want to fit in. That's not necessarily the case if you can't afford it, if you're going into debt for it, if you are making all of these decisions just to keep up with the Joneses, that's not the best situation for you. Make sure whenever you do go to buy a designer or luxury item that you can't afford it. You're go not going into debt for it. You are able to fit that into your lifestyle without actually detrimenting all of your budgeting work that you've already done. There is nothing wrong with buying these items, having designer clothes, a brand new car. There's nothing wrong with that. Just make sure that you can easily afford it without going into debt and not making payments on it. Make sure you're saving up. You know exactly how much it's going to cost and you put it into your budget. So that way, whenever you do buy the bullet and purchase that item, you were able to do so with cash. Also make sure that this is not an impulse buy because you don't want to make, you don't want to buy it for the wrong reasons. You want to make sure that you're doing it for you, not because the trend is cool on Instagram or your neighbor has a brand new thing. The fifth common financial mistake we see people making is buying things on credit cards and not paying them off. It's very easy to not keep track of how much money you're spending when you have multiple credit cards. You swipe it, oh, okay, the money is just being put on my credit card and then I just won't worry about it and I'll make a minimum payment later. And then you keep doing it with multiple cards and pretty soon it just adds up and it can blow up in your face if you're not careful. So what we recommend is to limit the amount of credit cards that you have and that you can actually afford to pay every single month. 
And of course, this isn't to say that credit cards in and of themselves are bad. Just use them responsibly, pay them off each month, and make sure that you're doing what you can actually afford. Don't have too many credit cards where you are just constantly juggling them and trying to figure out how you're going to make each one work. Limit them and make them work for your lifestyle and specifically for your budget. And there you have it. There are top five common financial mistakes that we see people making. So let us know, were any of these interesting to you? Have you tried implementing any of these into your lifestyle? We would love to know. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will go ahead and see you in our next one.